Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, back to in another video, and today I'm gonna be playing the Night Region. And I unlocked the bonus game. Let's see what bonus game I get. I just swear to God. Okay, Life Breaker, fine. Okay, I'm good. Fine, let's go here. Pow, there we go. Oh, next way. I'll put this here. Here, here. Yes, now this is one that I like. I'm gonna need these. Repeater is not gonna be useful here. Alright! Zuril and Ludicolo already represent the aquatic biomes of rivers, lakes, and the ocean. Mydiana and Linoon are Some people may think that it's the um, and forest the hell areas. Was it again? The last two Pokemon I'm giving him are Flygon for the desert Mushroom. and Torkoal for the volcanic areas. Mushroom, Freeshroom, whatever. From other this plant one is useless like because uh, its cost is nothing. I'm sorry about that. You the guys can see the dark screen. Volcano, sorry about that. That's just the eye. That's just the tablet. And Mount Chimney are the first desert and volcano. Ever in the main series Pokemon games. So I can just I spam a, a whole army of these. Next up is the Sinnoh Professor. But yet again, Professor Rowan. there are Bucketheads. Er, Juan. I don't know. First would be Snorlax and Lopini, since he shows off Munchlax in the intro of Diamond and Pearl, and Baneri in the intro of Platinum. But aside from those two, he doesn't have any other Pokemon. Well, in the anime, he had some Starly and a Staraptor in his lab, but those weren't explicitly his. He was just kind of studying them, so I don't think that should count. Yes, I did waste some sun on a potato mine because I don't want to... the sunflower is useless here, anyways. No, 
something. So once again, I'm going to fill out the rest of his team by using his research specialty. And Rowan's or Rowan's or whatever is Pokemon Evolution. Generation 4 introduced a lot of evolutions for older generation Pokemon, so why not fill out the rest of his team with new evolution Pokemon? I'm filling it out with Gliscor, Gallade, Mamoswine, oh, okay. and Yanmega. Not a whole lot of deep reasoning Pilo behind this squad besides picking ones I like that I didn't already give to Elm. Next up is the Unova Professor, Professor Juniper. First, she'd have Chinchino. Since she shows off Minchino in the black and white intro, and then shows off a Chinchino in the black two and white two intro, showing that it evolved in the time frame between the games. Okay, yeah, we, now we definitely need to potato mine. Since she uses her Minchino I don't like those combos. And, and the other others. <laughs> and other and other kinds. I didn't need potato mine, sunflower, that, and puff I remember puff her research Wait, specialty Puffshow? is the origin yeah. of Pokemon, and Wait, she talks about Puff. a couple Pokemon that have interesting origins. First is Clink Clank, since she talks about how Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Next is Darmanitan, since she talks about how the Zen mode once had been in the desert for 2,500 years. So, uh, Finally, will be Sigilith. That, that was pretty much it. I just have a whole bunch of stuff left. I guess the same Pichu path can be to continuously guard an ancient city that's no longer there. I want to see. Like yeah, that I guess I can right up for there. So that covers Professor Cow. Juniper, the primary professor of the Univa region. However, Univa has several other notable researchers that I think are notable enough to warrant getting their own champion teams. First up is Professor Aria Juniper's father, Cedric Juniper. He's a retired researcher that now just kind of jaunts around upgrading your national Pokedex and stuff like that. He doesn't have any canonical Pokemon. However, he does give the player the Super Rod in Black 2 and White 2. It's the only fishing rod in the game, so clearly he's an expert fisherman. So his team should all be Pokemon that he fished up. Those would be Kingdra, Basculin, Milotic, Politoed, Crawdont, and Dragonite. And yes, La you can fish up Dragonite outside the Dragon Spiral Tower. All right. Well, Not all of these are in the Unova Pokedex, but the fishing rod isn't obtained until after you get the National Dex. Mom. Another notable Unova researcher. Puff is Fennel, here, right? I really want to the Pokemon Dream. I really want the Chomp, right? I love Chompers. In the Dream really World demo, she has plans. a Mana. I was about to say Pokemon, and then in the anime, but no. she has a Mana and a Masharna. So clearly, Masharna is her ace. As for the rest of her team, I'm just going to pick some Pokemon from the Black 2, White 2 Unova Pokedex that have something to do with sleep. In full, her team would be the Masharna, followed by Ampharos because of counting sheep, Slacking because, obviously, Altaria for sleeping on clouds, Umbreon because it represents nighttime, and Wigglytuff because it would make a great what? pillow. Apparently it has really soft, you. nice fur. Also, I totally would have given her a Snorlax, but it's not the universe. The final Unova researcher is Colbus. Now, he's originally an antagonist, working with Team Plasma what? in Black 2 and White 2. But he eventually leaves Ooh, Team that's Plasma my army. and... <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to meddle in my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getsis. That's enough reason for me! So now he's basically just an independent professor. Oh, which I'm on back, guys. History, yeah, it was the ad, alright, um, the, the, the ad's done. Jimmy, so, yeah. Blue, Charon, Feed, and Marnie. But what would oh, come on, man. I'm sorry, I forgot to um, unpause the video. Uh, what do you want, so. boy? I am here. To you, for I have successfully stolen your wireless speaker. Oh, that's fine. You can have it. Yes, keep crying. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I actually have a new one that I absolutely love. Check it out. The Code okay, Commuter sure. 2, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Code. What? What? That one looks so nice. Oh, yeah. I love it. Right. Oh, God. I'm the worst. So uncomfy. and it's easy to take anywhere with me. I use it when doing some at-home workouts or watching videos on my laptop, and the sound quality is amazing. There's killer battery life too. One charge lasts seven hours. Check this out. Oh no, you broke it! What? No, the code commuter too can just put in 
in two new pieces to make you really cool stereo sound. It's like two speakers for the price of one. Wow, that is amazing. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Why didn't I tell you about a lovely new possession of mine? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you would steal it? Oh, come on, we're friends. No, we're not. I came to your birthday party. You broke in and stole my kiss. At least I was there. Anyways, if you want to get a super high quality wireless speaker, get the code Commuter2 using my link in the description below. And if you use code MJTV68, you will get 67% off. Are you kidding me? Man, I don't even need to steal it for such a sweet deal. Yeah, I know. Now get out. Oh, oh what a way to disrespect your best friend. Anyways, thanks so much again to Co for sponsoring this video. But now let's dive in. To See this one in nighttime. It it, it you get it's the same amount. It gives the same. It gives the sun. It, it the sun speed is the same thing as the sunflower in the daytime. There's tear sunflower is useless because well it's not useless. It still gives you a lot of sun, but very slowly. It's two times like three times slower. I'm gonna do this by picking one of his signature Pokemon that is not a starter. However, it's actually pretty tough to get yeah, yeah, a there signature we go. Pokemon Fine. for blue. Fine. Because there's two Pokemon that he uses almost the same amount. The first is Alakazam, which he actually uses the most of any of his non-starter Pokemon. Then the other is Pidgeot, which he uses just a bit less than Alakazam. Uh, I guess I can put Chomper like here. One, two Chompers. Really, I just want two. The rest can just be, I don't know, Ice Beads or something. Push Room. Puff Room. Okay, so. Next, I'd give him Espeon. Blue is a gym leader in the Johto game, so it means Johto Pokemon out there. As a nod to his AV starter in yellow. The final two would be Zatu and Starmie, the two remaining psychic types that I think fit his vibe best. For flying specialist Blue, his first would, of course, be Pidgeot, followed by Aerodactyl and Gear. Hermine. The two remaining psychic types that I think fit his vibe best. For flying specialist Blue, his first would of course be Pidgeot, followed by Aerodactyl and Gyarados, two other flying types he's used many times. Yeah, I, I think Next I want five chompers. A Pokemon he used in Pokemon Stadium 2. Next would be Dodrio as a nod to Gary's Dodrio in the anime. And finally would be Skarmory, and another main flying type which fits his style. Come on, man, I can finally do Yum! These rivals now Yummy! Any starter oh. Pokemon. Charon, as a gym leader, does not use a starter Pokemon, and he's kind of the model for this video. Now we can move on to the Johto region rival, Silver. This is one of his strongest teams for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Come on, come on, come on, mom! I'm not trying to make you angry, but I'm trying to make you stupid. Really, I actually want. As a poison type gym his first two Pokemon would obviously be Crobat and Gengar. For his other four, I think he would have Arbok, Leo King, Pentacool, and Ariados. He just no come on man I just missed oh, yeah okay finally took you a while so. Second battle with the rival in Westboro City. 
Come on. Come on, come on. Woo! What a close one. No, no, no! No, come on, come on. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Please. Please don't do this to me. Uh, it's... Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I'm like, oh, finally. I literally My son or anything, because I don't know. You don't need to. Look at Colo! Oh my god, Bucket of Zombies move way slower than Conehead. Well, I don't know, you just sound like. No, I just sound different. Okay, so Buckethead zombies move way slower. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Move way slower than Conehead and normal zombies, which is why 32 seconds really exists. The final roster of his team, if you swap out all the starters, is Staraptor, Heracross, Snorlax, Floso, Rosaray, and Rapidash. Unfortunately, none of these Pokemon really stand out as his signature Pokemon team. You Checking back many hours later to see what showed up. Barry has two different 
Honey Tree Pokemon, Heracross, and Snorlax, which was caught as a Munchlax. But not only are these two Pokemon Honey Tree Pokemon, there we go. but they All are right. two Next very one. Honey Tree Pokemon. I go into more detail in my What is the Yeah, sometimes I. Yeah. yeah, I do make long videos. Well, only if I'm on like a tablet and the phone. I, I can't make long videos if I'm on the PS4. Oh, what? Wait, Spurgeon? He's on both hands. Yeah, thank you. Continue. I'm always the play. Uh, I zombie last stand or wait breaker. Last stand. fully evolved Pokemon of the remaining honey tree options. Is this team particularly good? Come on, man. Generation 